ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about five products that I have tried recently that I am absolutely loving. So I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm just getting started out so I would love to have new members in my channel. Hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. With that let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I found on the Dermatology website. They were having a sale and I get my sunscreen from them so I thought I would go on. This is their pumpkin enzyme mask. I love putting masks on. As many of you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm 62 years old. I have had no cosmetic surgery, fillers, Botox, anything done to me. My skin is what it is. So. I've done a lot of damage to my skin over the years and you can see it's not perfect. I'm trying to get a lot of the things that I've done wrong corrected. I used to go to the tanning bed for 15 years. I didn't wear sunscreen when I should have and it caused a lot of problems with sunspots, age spots, my collagen breaking down so I have wrinkles and the texture of my skin isn't good. And when I was young I had great skin. People used to compliment me on my skin on how I had no pores and it was just flawless. But as I got older, I neglected it and I was too busy just having fun and living life and I was married and had a daughter and and I didn't take care of my skin until I started working at Bare Essentials and I learned about skin care and I started trying to use products that would help my skin. But as I went on and my daughter became an esthetician, I learned even more and more things that I could do to help improve my skin. So I've been working on that for the last couple of years and I'm upping my level of what I'm using each year to try to counteract some of the things that I've done. And masks are one of the things that I love to do. This mask from Dermatology is a pumpkin enzyme mask and it said it exfoliates and hydrates. It says it is a nourishing, self-warming, deep cleansing mask, combines minerals, enzymes, and vitamin to improve the appearance of pore size, cleanse, hydrate, and rejuvenate your skin. And let me tell you, it does. It doesn't really have too much of a scent. You can smell the pumpkin a little bit, but I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. And you can see the little granules in it. They're very fine pumpkin granules and the pumpkin enzymes. And what you're going to do is you're going to put, it says put a generous layer on your face or wherever you want it. You're going to put it on and it says to let it dry for like 10 minutes. You can leave it on for longer if you want. I actually I think left mine on for like 15 minutes. But you're going to leave it on and when you first put it on it says to massage it in. So you can get a little bit of the scrubby granules and everything into your skin. Then you're going to leave it on for 10-15 minutes to let it dry and absorb in a little bit. Then you're going to rinse it off. And let me tell you, when you rinse this off, it's going to leave your skin feeling so clean, so refreshed. It says when you go to rinse it off to exfoliate a little bit more, put a little bit of water into it, wet your fingers, and exfoliate a little bit more. And the enzymes that have been working for those 10 minutes are going to help slough off the skin but all the other nourishing ingredients in there are going to soften your skin. And it has different things in here. Um, it's got pumpkin fruit extract, vitamin E. It's got silver jojoba beads and jojoba esters. It's got so many wonderful things for your skin in here. And I truly think that you would love it. And Dermatology is constantly having sales. I believe right now they have one for 20% off. So go to their website, check it out. I will have a link for this down in the bottom for you so you can find it. The second thing that I would like to talk to you about, I'm going to go into a little bit of makeup, is, and I know this has been out a while, is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromatic Tinted Glow Hydrator. This is actually what I have on my skin today and I am glowy which I don't mind. I brought this up before my skin is so dry any hydration that I have on my skin give it a couple hours and it'll dry down. I really have a problem with um, my makeup and even when I use um, primers and setting sprays and that sometimes it my skin will just absorb it in so I am always on the lookout for something that's hydrating and I have tried this and this says it has up to 
24 hour hydration. I don't know if it has quite 24 hours hydration in it, but it says it lasting all day moisture, skin stays hydrated for up to 24 hours, up to a 24 hour glow, dewy, juicy, finish, healthy looking skin, weightless, medium coverage, and looks fresh all day. It has kombucha, filtrate, and marula oil, which I know is really good. It is vegan formula, so that's another good thing if you're worried about that. I'm in the shade 30 Light, and it's more of a neutral tone. And I'm going to put this on my hand so you can see with this consistency. And I truly believe it is a medium coverage. It is not a full coverage, so if you're looking for something that is full coverage, you're going to want something different than this. But this has got what I would think is pretty good coverage. It's good for days like I'm filming on a Saturday. It's good for days like everyday wear. If you're not going, if you're going to a fancy event and you want totally everything covered up in full coverage. But when it goes on, it goes right into your skin and it does feel hydrating. And I truly like that about this. It doesn't accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't um, accentuate pores. I The first day that I tried it out, I did a wear test on it, and I wear it all day to work. It did last almost eight hours. By the end of eight hours, and even with me putting a primer on, I did notice it wearing off a little bit. I don't wear a mask at work, except for once in a great while I will have to. So it does, it does help that, not having to wear a mask anymore, so it does stay on a lot better than when you had to wear masks all day and then your makeup never stayed on. But I truly believe this is really good and I think it's good for anybody even if you have oily skin. This, the marula oil, is not going to clog your pores or anything. It's a very lightweight oil so I think it's just going to hydrate. But you ladies, if you are older or even if you're middle-aged or younger and you have dry skin, I truly believe this is a good everyday tinted, as it says, a tinted hydrator, and it is going to give you some kind of coverage, so it's great for like everyday use for just bumming around. The next thing I want to talk to you about is this eyeliner from Koki. This is a gel ink dual ended liner, and that's what I love about this liner. It says play two in one, waterproof, smudge proof, long lasting up to 12 hours. They're not kidding. I wore this the other day for the first time and I absolutely loved it. And what I did, and I did the same thing today, I don't know if you can tell, that my lash line looks really thick and dark. I used both ends of this. I used the pencil end to tight line under my eyes. And then I used the other end, which is your fine little marker. You can see that. On the upper lashes and to create a little wing on both sides. And wings are very hard for me to make um, with my eyes because I have hooded eyes. I not only have hooded eyes, but they droop and because I'm older, my collagen is broken down, my upper lid is not as taut as it used to be. This works really good and it goes on smooth. And I'm going to show you the consistency. This is the pencil side. You can see it's black and it does stay on your waterline. This is the felt tip line and you can see how easily it goes on it just stays on all day. It dries very fast. I can take right now, and those are all dry. They're not moving. Mine stayed on all day, even with my allergies, which are really bad and pretty much 365 days a year, so I get watery eyes. This stayed on perfect, and I had done a wing the other day too, and even though my eyes were watering, my wing stayed on all day. So if you want something that's waterproof, 
I don't have super sensitive eyes. I don't wear contacts, but this did not. It stayed in my waterline. It didn't go into my eyes. Didn't cause any kind of irritation whatsoever. And this Koki liner, I think, was like seven or eight dollars. So you're getting two for one with this. If you like doing a liquid liner, which I do sometimes on the top, I put a real thin line and then I'll do a wing. This is perfect. If you want to use the other end for doing tight lining, that works as well. And to have two in one, this is perfect for me for traveling. I've got two options. But I think you can get really super good eyeliners that work very well at our drugstore prices. And Koki is a brand that I have just tried and it says it's Koki Professional and I saw it on one of the other YouTube channels and I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try. Why not? That's what these channels are all about is helping us find different things and playing with makeup. So I'm really glad that I tried this. The next thing that I have just tried recently and I got this, two of the items I received in my BoxyCharm. I started BoxyCharm a couple of months ago. This is from Tarte. It's a Maracuja Miracle Mist. It's a setting spray. I don't know if you can see this. I have never seen a setting spray like this. I have not set my face today, so I'm going to do that now on camera. And most setting sprays, you're spritz, 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 and you hope it has a fine mist. This, I don't know if I can show you. I don't know if that'll show up on camera at all. It is so fine, and you just a continuous mist. Now I have a all of your face and it is super super fine now I have a super shiny face but this is very good for people that have dry skin as well it is hard for me to find a setting spray that doesn't have alcohol in it and ladies as you get older and your skin is drier even if you grew up with oily skin your skin is going to get a little bit drier as you go through menopause and stuff you're going to start losing a lot of the oils in your skin and in your body you don't want to put a setting spray and different things on that have a ton of alcohol because what's going to happen, and even if you have oily skin, if you do that, get some of my hair, should I have my hair pulled back? Your skin is going to go, wow, alcohol, it's drying me out. I need to produce more oil. So you never want to try to dry your skin out too, too much. Even if you have oily skin, you're going to want to put some kind of hydrator on. This is amazing, and let me read a little bit about what it says on here. And I never would have thought to try something like this. Um, sets makeup, it says, for up to 16 hours. It did. The day that I used this, I was totally amazed. My makeup stayed on. And it wasn't a day that I was using this to get the new foundation. But the foundation that I did have on stayed on all day. Everything. My blush, I came home, and I had had a day where I had worked all day, and then my husband and I work in our children's program at church. So I basically got home grabbed a little snack, went off to that. So I left the house at 7.45, and I didn't get home until 8.30 at night, and I still had brush, blush and contour, everything still on my face. It looked perfect. This stayed on really, really well, and it says um, you hold it, bottles 8 to 10 inches from your face, close eyes, and mist. But this does not have um, alcohol in it, and that is a plus to me. So again, this is another one for any skin type, but especially ladies, if you have dry skin, this is a plus to have something, a setting spray that has maracuja oil in it and does not have alcohol in it. The last thing that I am going to talk about, I got on BoxyCharm as well. And this is from One Size. This is called the One Size Go Off. I am a big fan of using cleansing balms and cleansing oils at night as my first step for taking my makeup off. This is a makeup dissolving mist and basically it's like a fine oil. It, it, instead of it being in a balm or pour out oil, this is something like I've never tried. It says, an epic continuous mist that dissolves makeup on contact infused with calming jojoba and brightening rosehip oils. Makeup is removed without leaving skin feeling tight or dry. Our concentrated water-free formula 
creates a no drip, super slick surface for the ultimate makeup removal. They're not kidding. When I first tried this, I'm like, this, this is just sort of strange to me. But I'm going to show you on my hand with our waterproof eyeliner that doesn't want to come off. I'm going to spray this and you're going to see. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I'll try to get close so you can. It's a mist. And it's sprayed on. And you can see my hand. A really fine mist of oil. That's the nice thing about this. It's water free. And what you're going to do, when you put it on your skin, you just put it on at night, you rub it, and then you can rinse it off, but all that hard to get off eyeliner came right off. And I just used a tissue because I'm not over a sink, but it took everything off. And it doesn't leave your, it leaves your skin feeling a little bit oily, just like a cleansing oil or cleansing balm would. And then I will go into my second cleanse to get any of that residue off because at nighttime I put my retinols on, my um, acids on, and different things like that. So I want to make sure that there's not an oil barrier on. But as your first step to get that hard to remove makeup off, I have nothing left on my hands. And this will take anything off. I mean, it just, it took that off, it'll take lipstick off, it will take anything off. And it's, it's quick, it's convenient. You just, whoosh, over your face, rub it in, rinse it off, and you're good to go. I really hope that you enjoyed. Those are our five products, starting with our skincare, our dermatology, going into our Urban Decay foundation, our Koki eyeliner, our Tarte Setting Mist, and then our One Size Mist to take the makeup off. So we've started from start to finish with treating our skin, putting our makeup on, setting our makeup, and taking our makeup off at the end of the night. Ladies, I do hope that you enjoyed this. I love making these videos. I love talking about makeup and skincare ask my friends that actually have to listen to me all the time talk about it. So this is something that I enjoy doing and if you have anything that you would like me to try out or talk about, I will gladly do that. I'm going to try to read all the comments that come in and answer them in any way that I possibly can. So again, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I have a video coming up. Go out and have yourself a wonderful, blessed day.